after all the talk about Wakanda forever and phase five and six, I know everybody's excited. We've got 10 comic books that are oozing on the secondary market. So grab your vibe juice and meet me back here in the comic room. There's much to discuss. What's up everybody? And welcome back to another episode of You Know Keep It Comics. As always, I am your humble host, C3. And before I get started, I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for stopping by checking out the channel. I truly appreciate all your encouraging comments in the comment section. I appreciate your support. And you guys know that I couldn't do this without you. You guys are the reason that I do what I do. And you guys are the ones that make all of this possible. All right. So I really appreciate you. And if this is your first time stopping by checking out the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. We have a really good time over here and we have a model. It's called Good Vibes Only. All we ask is that you check the nonsense at the door because we're here just for the love of comics. We just want to talk comics. We don't want to argue. We don't want to fuss. And we definitely ain't finna fight. <laughs> We're just going to enjoy the hobby because that's what we're here for. Oh, and also, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you guys what I picked up for this past new comic book day. And I'll open up a box that came in the mail. I'm pretty excited about that. All right. So without further ado, you guys know the drill. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and feel free to ring the bell. So every time I do a video, you guys will get that notification. All right. So. Let's dive right out in. Coming in at number 10, we've got a book that is published by DC. This book was released on August 2nd, 1966. The title of this book is Wonder Woman, issue number 165. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got some Silver Age goodness on the list. Now, the key factor to this book is it is a classic cover and it is also her first battle with Paper Man. <laughs> I know, right? Who would have thunk it? Paper Man. Not the paper boy, but Paper Man. All right? He must have threw the newspaper on the wrong side of the porch or something. <laughs> All right, let's talk numbers. Last recorded sale for this book was on July 21st, 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $29.99. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 9.37%. The average sale for a CGC 9.4 is $195, and the average sale for a raw copy of this book is $25.10. There's been 79 raw copies that have sold so far, and there has been five graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 84 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sale for CGC 9.4 was back on July 27th, of 2019, where well, that book sold for $195. And the fair market value has this book resting at $195 for the most common grade of the 9.4. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the market for Wonder Woman, issue number 165, keep your eye on it, because she's on the move. Alright? We're going to keep things moving. We're rolling right along, alright? Coming in at number 9, let's talk about some Bronze Age goodness. Okay, this book was published by Marvel. The title of this book is Strange Tales, issue number 178. It was released on February 1st, 1975. The regular edition. Exactly. Now, the key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of Magus. Yes, first appearance of Magus. Let's talk numbers. Last recorded sale for this book was on July 21st of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $129.12. This book is also trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 15.63%. The average sale for a graded copy of this book in the 9.4 is $372. Average sale for a raw copy of this book is $126. There's been 585 
raw copies of this book that have sold, and there's been 169 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 754 copies of this book that continue to change hands on the secondary market where the highest known sell for CGC 9.8 was back in April 26 of 2021, where well, that book sold for $8,500. Fair market value has this book resting at $372 for the most common grade of the 9.4. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the market for Strange Tales, issue number 178, the regular edition, keep your eye on it because it is definitely on the move and keep in mind whether you are someone who wants to buy comics and flip comics or if you're just someone who wants to add these books to your collection this is the perfect channel for you because i often highlight books that are moving on the secondary market sometimes i'll show some books that have slowed down books that you might have been wanting to add to your collection but the price may have just been a little too steep I like to keep my eye on books to see if they do a little dip because I like to do what I call strike while the iron is cold, right? Some people buy high, but they leave no room for them to make an extra profit. Me, myself, I don't flip comics, but I do add them to my collection. I look for specific books that I can enhance my collection with, right, and add value to my collection, but also books that I feel good about having in my collection because it's my collection and I want to feel great about what I'm collecting. And I just like sharing that information with you guys. So if you too are a collector such as myself, I welcome you to the channel and I hope that you have just as much fun uh, running after or should I say chasing these comics as I do. And that's why I provide this list for everybody. All right. So that's my public service announcement. <laughs> All right, moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in at number eight, we've got some more Silver Age goodness. This book was released on November 10th, 1969. It, too, was published by Marvel. And the title of this book is Submariner, issue number 19. Wow, that is a beautiful cover. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. And with all the hype centered around Wakanda, Wakanda Forever and the talk and the speculation of, of, of Namor coming to the big screen, it has been confirmed he is coming and there's no telling who else we might see, which is why I think in my own mind, I attribute why all these other books are spiking because we don't know who we're going to see. Um, we don't know who the true antagonist is going to be. Um, we always know that they give us a couple of shadow. If they give us one, they give us two, but it's never the first one or the second one. It's always either a third or fourth antagonist that winds up being the big bad guy, right? So I think that's attributing to an attributing factor to why these books are doing so great on the secondary market. They're starting to show uh, a little promise. So let's talk numbers. First of all, the key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of Stingray, right? Now, the last recorded sale for this book was on July 21st of 2022, where a raw copy went for $64.95. And this book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 15.80%. Average sale for a graded copy of this book in a 9.6 is $432. And the average sale for a raw copy is $51.88. There's been 272 raw copies of this book that have sold, but there has also been 19 graded copies that have sold as well, giving us a total of 291 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Now, the highest known sell for CGC 9.6 was back on June 28th of 2020, and that book sold for $432, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Now, the fair market value does have this book resting at $432 for the most common grade of the 9.6. So, if you are a Submariner fan, keep your eye out on Submariner issue number 19, because that book is definitely on the move. First appearance of Stingray. Excuse me. Yeah, I got some good vibes up in there today. Ice cold, too. I hope you guys are enjoying the show thus far. And like I said, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you some comics that I picked up for New Comic Book Day. And as a little extra added bonus, I'll show you guys something that came in the mail. I'll do an unboxing for us, all right? So moving right along, we have some more Silver Age goodness. 
This book is coming in at number seven. It was released on June 1st, 1969. It was published by Marvel. The title of this book is Daredevil, issue number 53. <laughs> you guys know I had to go there. Look, with all the new announcements coming on, on the MCU, phase five, uh, phase six, listen, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited because I'm looking forward to the next three years of Marvel, without a doubt. Now, Daredevil's coming back, and he's coming back more than once, so we're going to get a double dose. I'm around for that. <laughs> I'm definitely around for that. Yo, let's talk numbers, man. The key factor to this book is Daredevil thinks back on his origins, and there's a moment of reflection. So a lot of changes take place in this particular book. He goes through this little emotional and mental state change. And I think that's a real key error for Daredevil because he may get a little more aggressive after this, if I'm not mistaken, right? So we may, on the, on the, on the screen when we see him, we may see a more aggressive Daredevil, which I'm around for that too because it is he is the Daredevil. He does do what he do, right? <laughs> so here's the, here's, the, here's the numbers on it. Last recorded sale was on July 21st of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $35. And I like that. I like that price. That is a perfect price point for buy-in. A nice mid to high grade copy of this book that you can add to your collection. I myself would love to have this book, such beautiful colors that would come in and it just would pop. You know, I would love to have this in my collection in a nice 9.8. So I'm definitely looking for this book and want to add it to my collection. Shout out to all my Daredevil fans out there. Now, the last book sold for $35. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 13.47%. The average sale for CGC 9.6 of this book is $279. The average sale for a raw copy is $32.13. There's been 286 raw copies of this book that have sold and there's been 25 graded copies that have sold so far giving us a total of 311 copies of this book that has moved on the secondary market from uh, the beginning of the year till now and the highest known sale for cgc 9.6 of this book was back on may 17th of 2015 where that book sold for 286 dollars and 80 cents so if you think about from then to now uh there's a slight dip in that price where fair market value has it resting at $279 for the most common grade of the 9.6. And I firmly believe that if you just have a conversation with the, uh, with the person selling the book, you may be able to get that book at a lower cost, right? Not saying you'll get it for nothing, but if you talk right and you present well, you may be able to get that for, for a little bit lesser price, all right? So, if you are in the market for Daredevil issue number 53, keep your eye out on this book because it is definitely on the move. Coming in at number six, we got some popular copper, ladies and gentlemen. Copper age goodness. Now, excuse me, that vibe juice, baby. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, we got some popular copper. This book was released on February 1st, 1991. This book is published by Marvel. And the title of this book is New Mutants 98. Woo woo! Man, listen, say what you want, but I'm a Daredevil fan and I'm around for this. It's been a long time coming. I'm waiting for Daredevil. Patiently waiting for oh so long, starving like Marvin, <laughs> for a Deadpool song. Let's go. <laughs> I'm around for this. Now, first appearance of Deadpool, New Mutants 98, first appearance of Deadpool. Let's talk numbers. On July 21st, 2022, a raw copy sold for $334.01. Somebody tell me, you couldn't let the person go for one cent? Come on, man. You couldn't tell that person he could, don't don't worry about the penny? <laughs> All right. 
So, this book is currently trending upward at 17.41%, ladies and gentlemen. The average sale for a CGC 9.6 in this book is $632, while the average sale for a raw copy, mid to high grade in this book, is $521, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So, you see that little difference right there. Now, there's been 1,975 raw copies that have sold and 1,994 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 3,969 copies of this famous, magnificent, marvelous collector's item that has changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sale for CGC 9.8 was back on August 21st of 2021, when that book sold for $4,050. And I'm super happy and crazy. I'm yo, I'm excited about De uh, about Deadpool finally getting his just due. Very underrated. He just doesn't get the due that he's deserved that he deserves. And I myself, I like Deadpool. I think Deadpool's a great character hero, anti-hero, whatever you want to call him, I like it, and Ryan Reynolds nails this character to the wall, man, at the end of the day, you couldn't have found a better person to play Deadpool than Ryan Reynolds, he fits that character, It was that character was made for him, so I'm excited about seeing him on the big screen, I'm happy that we're going to get another Deadpool, and I'm looking forward to it, alright, so, that book the highest known value, the highest known sale for CGC 9.8 sold for $4,050. And fair market value has this book resting at $632 for the most common grade of the 9.6. 9.6 is the most common grade of, 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 of Deadpool um, that is being sold on the secondary market. All right. So if you are in the market for New Mutants 98, keep your eye on this book because it is definitely on the move. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the halfway mark. We have made it to number five. So, before I go any further, allow me to do what I always do, which is stop, take a deep breath, and take the time to thank each and every one of you guys for watching the video. Thank you for all your love and all your support. Thank you for all the encouraging comments that you guys give me in the comment section, because you guys fuel my desire to continue to have fun and enjoy the comic book uh, community because this is such a beautiful hobby that we have. You know, uh, I think, and, and it's peaceful to me. It's a very uh, peaceful uh, interaction that I'm able to have with you guys. And I really appreciate and respect that. There's so much going on in the world that I'm just looking for peace of mind. And comic books bring me that. And I'm grateful that I'm able to share that with you guys. So once again, thank you very much for spending this time with me giving me something to do, keeping me out of harm's way. You guys are the best. I thank each and every one of you for all the love, all the support, everything that you do to support the channel. And if, again, this is your first time hanging out with us, this is what it is, baby. <laughs> you get all this for about 35, 45 minutes. <laughs> but the best thing about it is it's good vibes only, baby. Who don't want good vibes, man? Stop it. All right? So, if you hang around to the end, don't forget, I got some comics I want to show you guys that I picked up for New Comic Book Day, and I'll unbox something for you. All right? So, without further ado, we're going to dive right back in, and I'll show you what we got coming in at number five. This book is some more popular copper. This book was released on November 1st, 1985, ladies and gentlemen. It was published by Marvel. And you guys are not going to believe this. But watch this. The title of this book is Care Bears, issue number one. Oh, <laughs> no, he did. Yes, he did. Care Bears, issue number one, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I did. Listen, I used to watch Care Bears. I used, yo, know, I used to love it when they all grabbed hands. And they, man, listen, come on, man. I had to put this up there because this, hey, it's from, it's from a good time in my life. I enjoyed watching the show, and guess what? It was all about good vibes, right? It was all about love, caring for your neighbor, making sure that everybody was 
was supported and taken. It was a, it was a sense of community, right? So I always have a, 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 a certain respect and love for Care Bears. So I had to put it on the list, all right? So don't be mad. <laughs> don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't hate. All right. Let's talk. Let's talk numbers. The key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of Care Bears in comics, right? This book, last recorded sale, was on July 18th of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $50. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 21.4%. The average sale for a CGC 9.8 in this book is $567. The average sale for a raw copy of this book is $27.19, which is not bad. That is a beautiful price point for buy-in. I have a copy of this book in my collection. It's a little mangled, so I've been looking to upgrade this book, and I found one. I found a few of them that are priced very, very fairly, and I think it's time for me to strike while the iron is cold. Time for me to get another copy and add an even prettier copy to my collection. All right, so there has been uh, 85 raw copies of this book that have sold so far and there has been 70, 17 graded copies that have sold giving us a total of 102 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market and I'm hoping one is able to change from someone's hand to my hand because I need to get one and add a, a nice clean copy to my collection. Now the highest known sale for CGC 9.8 was back on January 23rd of 2022 where that book sold for $599.90 $0.95. That's actually not bad. I actually like the fact that Care Bears has that type of uh, of prestige, that someone is willing to pay $600 for their first appearance in comics. So that lets me know that I wasn't the only person enjoying Care Bears, man. Somebody else was watching them, too. <laughs> Come on, Care Bears. Let's... What was the, here, here's a question. Answer this question for me in the comment section. What did they call that little circle that they formed when they all grabbed hands and, and, and did their magic, and did their magic powers? What was that circle called? Leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> all right. Fair market value has this book resting at $567 for the most common grade of the 9.8. $567 for the most common grade of the 9.8 of Care Bears issue number one. If you are in the market for this book, now's the perfect time to strike. Strike while the iron is cold. You can get your hands on a copy of this book. Coming in at number four, we've got some modern science fiction, ladies and gentlemen. This book was released on April 22nd of 2015. It is published by Marvel. The title of this book is Star Wars, issue number four. Yes, the John Cassidy regular cover. The key factor to this book is unnamed Santa Solo, Santa Solo cameo appearance. All right? So you get a cameo appearance of Santa Solo, even though it's unnamed. Now, let's talk numbers. Last recorded sale for this book was on July 25th of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $30. And I know my Star Wars fans could appreciate that. This is an excellent price point for buy-in. $30, not bad at all. all right? This book is currently trending upward at 36.51%. The average sale for a CGC 9.8 in this book is $88.99, and the average sale for a raw copy is $19.60. Now, with all this filling in of the Star Wars universe, this book may be able to add a lot of value to your collection. This book is a part of that filling in, and I am also enjoying how we're getting these other aspects, these other storylines that are bringing new characters out. They're really flushing out this Star Wars trilogy thing. And man, I'm just having a lot of fun just reading it, man. And particularly uh, Darth Vader's uh, perspective of it too. So I'm enjoying that. Darth Vader, uh, Bounty Hunter. So I, The Mandalorian, I'm loving that. I'm really, really enjoying it. So it's bringing new perspective when it comes to Star Wars to my life, you know what I mean? Because even though I watched Star Wars back in the day, I may not have necessarily understood it the way a lot of my Star Wars fans uh, really understand because you guys are hard body. 
but I'm, I'm starting to understand why, because there's just so much in there, man, that you could just latch on to. It's like a, a whole nother universe, a whole different world. So I have a new appreciation for Star Wars. And hey, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful thing. Right? So there's been nine hundred there's been two hundred and ninety-three raw copies that have sold of uh Star Wars issue number four, and there has been three graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of two hundred and ninety-six copies of this book that continues to move on the secondary market. The highest known sell for CGC nine point eight was back on November eighteenth of twenty twenty one, when that book sold for eighty-eight dollars and ninety-nine cents. Now, this is such a beautiful cover, right? That I would love to have this in a nice clean 9.8. And $88 is not too far fetched for me to be able to handle. I like that's something I can really consider. So that's another good thing about this book. All right. And the fair market value has this book resting at $88.99 for the most common grade, which is 9.8. So if you are in the market for Star Wars issue number four, uh, the Casada, the Casada, the Cassidy, Casada, John Casada variant then this is the book for you keep your eye on it because it is on the move all right <clears throat> all right ladies and gentlemen we have made it to the top three hottest comic books of the week these books are doing real strong numbers on the secondary market the comic book community has shown a great deal of interest in these three books coming in at number three We've got some Bronze Age goodness. This book was released on April 1st, 1978. This book was published by Marvel. And the title of this book is Marvel Team-Up, issue number 68. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of despair. First appearance of despair, right? So, let's talk numbers. Get out of here, bug. Get out of here. <laughs> First appearance of despair. All right, so the last recorded sale was on July 21st, 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $22.95. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 92.13%. Now, the average sale for CGC 9.8 is $945. And the average sale for a raw copy is $32.03. There has been 364 raw copies that have sold so far. And there has been 15 graded copies that have sold. Giving us a total of 379 copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Now, the highest known sale for CGC 9.8 was back on January 7th of 2022. Where that book sold for... $1,299. Not bad, right? And the fair market value has this book resting at $945 for the most common grade of the 9.8. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are in the market for a Marvel team up, issue number 68, first appearance of despair, keep your eye out on this book because it too is on the move. All right? Now, Coming in at number two. Yes, number two. We got some Silver Age goodness. This book was published by Marvel. It was released on September 1st, 1969. The title of this book is X-Men, issue number 60. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, all this information that just got released over the weekend has the comic book community going crazy we are in a feeding frenzy and x-men issue number 60 is definitely on the menu all right the key factor to this book it's the first appearance of what's the name ah uh, soren is that it soren first appearance of soren the alter ego of carl like lycos yes soren the alter ego of carl lycos now Carl, now, Soren is an energy vampire that drinks mutant powers. So he feeds, off, he feeds off of mutant powers and adds them to his own. So Soren is 
someone who we may get the opportunity to see. We don't know that for certain. He wasn't mentioned. But again, when they open up these doors and bring these universes together, there's no telling who we're going to see. So it just makes sense to grab these first appearances, right? Now, let's talk more numbers. Last recorded sale was on July 21st of 2022, where a graded copy of 6.0 for this book went for $225. This book is also trending upward at 123.26%, ladies and gentlemen. The average sale for a graded copy in a 9.2 is $296. The average sale for a raw copy is $199. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there has been... 336 raw copies of this book that have sold, and there has been 89 graded copies that have sold, uh, giving us a total of 425 copies of this book that has changed hands from the beginning of the year to now on the secondary market. All right. Now, the highest known sell for CGC 9.8 was back on June 14th of 2022, where that book sold for $9,600, ladies and gentlemen, for CGC 9.8, $9,600. Absolutely. Now, fair market value has this book resting at $296 for the most common grade of the 9.2. So with all that information being shared this past weekend, and if you too feel that this book is worthy and worth adding to your, to your collection, or even if you want to do a quick flip, X-Men issue number 60 is on the move. Make sure you grab a copy. All right. Now, We've made it to the number one hottest comic book of the week. We're talking about DC Comics, ladies and gentlemen. This book was released on July twenty on the July twentieth of twenty twenty two, and the title of this book is Black Adam, issue number two, the Irvin Rodriguez regular cover. I know, right? This book just got released, and it's hot. This book is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Fuego. It's fire. What can we do? Right? I had to put it up here. So, the key factor to this book is, it is the first appearance of Malik as the White Adam, son of Black Adam. <clears throat> right? So, let's talk numbers. Last recorded sale was on July 21st of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $88. Now, here's the funny thing about this book. I went to my LCS. There were still a few copies left. And yes, I did purchase a few more copies. But when I looked up these numbers, what these numbers are telling me is that this book is drying up. So if you haven't got yourself a copy, you may want to go ahead and grab yourself a couple of copies before it dries up. Because this first appearance of Malik as the White Adam could possibly turn into something. You know, as we see Black Adam come to the big screen. You know Dwayne Rock Johnson is a heck of an actor, so you know there's a, a, a certain level of, 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 of professionalism he's going to bring to the game, and this character is going to stand out. He's going to add life to this character, right? So definitely you might want to add this cop you might want to add a copy of this to your collection before it dries up, because somebody paid $88 for a raw copy of this book, right? So... The reality to it is, is it's already starting to do numbers. It's already moving. So if you want it, you better get it. Why the getting is good because they are going to dry up. Um, now, and these are the numbers that I have to share with you. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at this, at 528, 528.28%. 528% uh, mark. This book is on the move. Increase in copies sold. This book is on the move, right? So the comic book community is getting this book. Make sure you get them before they dry up. Now, the average sale for CGC 9.6 of this book has not yet been told yet because we have no books that have gone in and been graded. But those numbers, I'm pretty sure, will come out soon. I'm going to keep my eye on this book and see what the numbers look like and see how it does on the secondary market. But the average sale for a raw copy of this book is at $62.76. So again, raw, regular cover, doing numbers. Get yourself a copy of this book. 
There's been 29 raw copies that have sold so far on the secondary market. And the highest known sell is for this book, like I said, was back on July 21st of 2022, when that book sold for $88. This book may continue to increase in value. Uh, and consider how you got those two foil variants out there too. I see this book doing quite well on the secondary market. And again, fair market value has this book resting at $62.76 for the most common, which is raw copy. All right? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have given you your list. Be sure to execute, but execute safely. Don't do anything that is going to warrant you having regrets, right? This is a hobby that we're supposed to love and we should be enjoying this hobby. There's no pressure. If you can't grab these books now, be patient. They'll always come back around. I know, ladies and gentlemen, FOMO is real, but there's no reason we should jump out the airplane without a parachute. We don't have to have our lights turned off. We don't have to have our cars repossessed just so we can get a comic book. It's not that serious, all right? We're just having fun. You know, it's all about good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. We're just enjoying the hobby together, sharing information, sharing the love of the hobby with, with one another, man, safely, you know, and, and respectably. All right. So you have it. Have fun while you're out there on the hunt. Now, I promised you guys that I would show you some comics that I picked up for new comic book day. All right. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. I have multiple copies of some books and some of them are not in uh, bags and boards yet because I haven't taken the time to do so but we're going to start off by showing you Moon Knight issue number 3 Black, White and Blood happy to add that to my collection I read this book I actually enjoyed I enjoyed the first two stories I didn't care much for the third one I thought the third one was rushed it was all over the place artwork was really wonky too but the first two stories, I really enjoyed. And I also love this red cover. All right. Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, issue number three. Next book I want to show you is Farm Hands. Farm Hand, issue number 19 by Rob Guillory. I was super happy that this book came back. I, I thought it was gone. I was enjoying reading this book. Um... I love this story. If you guys haven't read uh, Farmhand, give it a try. Really, really interesting take on gardening. <laughs> gardening and prosthetic limbs, right? When you talk about artificial limbs, that's a pretty good book. I like it. Next up, I grabbed Ice Cream Man, and this is issue number 31. Ice Cream Man, issue number 31. Love that green cover. It's another good read. We've got Captain America, uh, Sentinel of Liberty. This is issue number two. Haven't read it yet, but I will. We've got Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids. Issue number one. We have Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers, issue number 58. I'm hearing that there's supposed to be first appearance in this one. Ghost Ronin, I'm hearing. And I'm not holding them too long. Those are that are not in bags, but I'm not holding them too long because I don't want the moisture from my hands to set into the covers. Here's that book that I was telling you about. Issue number two of Black Adam. And you guys know I'm digging this yellow cover. Digging that cover, man. Love it. Such a beautiful cover. And yes, remember I told you I bought a few copies of it? Right? So there's that. that. Just for spits and giggles. You know? Because you never know. Right? I grabbed another copy of Spider Punk issue number three. Yep. I grabbed Miles Morales Spider Man issue number 40 
also loving this storyline as well. Really enjoying the story. Here's another cover. Love it. And here's that here's that predator cover. Dope. Can't wait to see what it, can't wait to see what it looks like inside of a mylar. Alright, next up, I grabbed another copy of Star Wars Mandalorian, issue number one. Definitely. I grabbed the, the toy variant cover, Star Wars Mandalorian, issue number one. Happy to add that to my collection. Here's another... Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids. Here's Star Wars issue number 25. I read this one also. Really enjoying this. Really enjoying Darth Vader's story. We've got Venom, Lethal Protector, issue number four. That looks like some Ken Lashley artwork right there. Leave a comment in the comment section. Correct me if I'm wrong. Who is that? No, is that John Boy? That's John Boy Myers. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, John Boy. Holy smokes. Now that's John Boy Myers. Fire, literally. Beautiful cover. We've got another uh, Avengers issue number 58. We have Immortal X-Men Issue number four, that beautiful Mark Brooks cover. That beautiful, that's beautiful. Mark Brooks, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful art. X-Men number four, we've got the White Queen, Emma Frost, the Noto cover. Very nice, very nice, very, very nice. We've got more Miles Morales Spider-Man. Remember, I told you I'm gonna be collecting him regardless. So you can never have enough copies. Uh, we have Avengers Forever, issue number six, and this is the second print. Titanium Man, who turns out to be Star Panther in the end. Yep. Next up from DC, we got Dark Crisis tie-in, and this is The Flash, issue number 784. I believe there's a first appearance in that one as well. Next up, one of my favorite books, we've got Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 10. And ladies and gentlemen, McFarlane and Booth are killing this book. Get yourself some copies of this. Definitely get yourself some copies of that. And you know, I grabbed another one for spits and giggles. Absolutely. You can't go wrong. You can never go wrong with McFarlane and Boo. Excellent. And last but not least, remember I told you I had a few more copies. Just a beautiful cover, man. Just a beautiful cover. Awesome. I love it. Yep, look at that, man. She is gorgeous. Yes. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that.
And here's a package that came in the mail that I want to share with you guys. So, before I open it up, I'm going to make my disclaimer. Cue the music, but keep your clothes on. <laughs> uh, all right. So, we made through this first layer pretty simple. I'm happy about that. And safely. I'm just going to toss it. All right? This is what it looks like. Not the neatest job, but you know, you know. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh. The old more cardboard inside of cardboard trick. <laughs> I'll take off the strips of tape. Let's take the bubble wrap off of it. Okay, now, I like the fact that we got pull tabs on this. So, that's pretty cool. I like that. Gets a little easier. Okay. Number three. And number four. Ah. All right. Let's see. Just removing the tape. Real easy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I just want to be careful. I don't want to hurt anything. All right. So it's got some... Pull that. Let's pull that. I like doing it on camera because it's kind of like a, a security measure to make sure that I get eyes on the book uh, with some witnesses, you know, just to ensure that I didn't tear the book up. All right? So, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. <sighs> I am happy to have this book, right? So, the first one I'm gonna show you is Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue number 39, the Ivan Tao trade dress variant. Look at that. That is nice. That is super nice. I love that. I love that all black. Man, that's fire. Oh, and if you guys hear that motorcycle going by, excuse that. Yep. Right? So, and I also got the Virgin cover. And it is such a beauty. It's such a beauty. I definitely can't wait to pop these into my lot. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, even though I opened this box with you guys, that is actually not the creme de la creme. Right? I'll show you guys the hottest book that I picked up this week. As long as you don't tell my wife. <laughs> don't tell. The hottest book that I grabbed this week was this baby right here. Yes. 
I know, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. And when I talk, when I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this book is in great condition. This book is in great condition. It's not a 9-8, but it's not a low grade either. So it's definitely mid-grade. And I'm happy to have it. So if I don't make a lot of small purchases over these next few comic book days, don't be mad at me. I got to make the money up somewhere. All right? So that's what I got, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. The beauty. All right? So I won't hold you up any longer. I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by checking out the channel. I hope you saw something you like. If you think that there's something that I might be interested in, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always out on the hunt looking for books. All right? I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for all you do. And before I go, you know what I always say? Don't hate, congratulate, show some love, because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, when you see me, always keep it comics. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next video. Peace.